Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Build a Space Station. Now we are getting so close to finishing this project, you can see there where we are up to right now. We only have one of our six outer discs left to build, and that's what we're going to tackle today. And we devoted that disc to be an engineering station, where we would actually use some of these blocks that are in Tekkit some of these machines and put them aboard our space station but before we get on with that we just I decided that I would go in and put the final touches on the inner Hanna so that we can have both the outer discs and the inner Hanna finished in one episode so I came around and started to design a staircase up to the very top section of this and I tried a couple of times before I got something that I felt fitted into the space both on the top and second top levels and on my third attempt I had managed to do that as you can see so I added in a bit of copper block with the tin there to make just that little bit of difference and detail which I think works quite well and it's been a standard house style throughout our build so I didn't want to change anything now so I come along and after building this staircase up I have to think about how I'm going to use these spaces on the top levels so I decided to devote these to some residential areas, so I built up three sections because obviously, obviously the fourth section is where the staircase is, so we can't have any build in there. So I came around and I pretty much followed the same procedure that I did back when we created the residential area on the bottom half of this sphere. I came around and put reinforced doors as the entrance to all of the houses. And then I came inside to play around with the floor plan and how I wanted to lay out all the rooms because obviously with it being a curved surface it wouldn't just be straight walls coming back so I had to design how I wanted this to work out and I really like the fact that it isn't just a straight wall face because where's the fun in that guys it's just a boring square we don't want any of that on our impressive space station so of course we mixed it up a bit adding in not identical rooms all on all the three sections we played around with it a bit changing the position of doors and windows just to give it that bit of depth and variation that has been something that I've really tried to keep on going through this whole build so you can see me coming around and finishing the third section now adding in some windows and just mixing it up so after that I came around and thought what am I going to do with this very top section and I decided since we had the sort of militaristic sort of DEFCON base on the bottom half where any military important decisions would be made I thought why not have the top section here to be where any political and financial etc decisions are made so anything that affects the space station and the people on it but not necessarily the safety and security of them that's where decisions would be made up here so something that could be considered up here would be the flight path of where we're going to orbit this station would all be designed here so i made a ring of desks and then thought it would be quite cool to have a center desk overlooking all of these kind of like in the first Avengers movie, Nick Fury's desk, I, so I tried to replicate that process up there. And after all, I was quite happy with how it turned out, so I left it hanging up over there. So now it is time to come out and build the final of our outer discs. It feels like quite a while ago, actually, since we started this project. But I think we're making really good progress and I'm glad that we can get this section down as one of our original plans for this station will finally be complete. So I came around and I copied the base style of the two high reinforced glass windows with steel blocks underneath and a dark matter block rim. Copied that style just the same as we have for all discs, just to keep that little bit of a house style going. So I, you can see me going around here with the dark matter blocks. But then I had to decide how I wanted to design this building. And I didn't really have any particular large outer thing I wanted on this. Like we had the glass dome on the oxygen facility. Or we had the watchtower on the brig prison. There wasn't really anything for the engineering department building. 
that would be like that. So I decided to stick with the theme that we saw on the nuclear power station and the medical bay. There was just a change in elevation as the disc comes in along the roof. Which actually, I think it looks quite good because now we have three buildings of this style and three that had some large outer sort of property to them. So I came around with a copper ring on the top because it was actually a block we hadn't used much as our roofing tile. We used it quite a lot on the underside of the station. So I thought I would introduce it to be our indent here because I thought it deserved just a little bit more place and it helped put that little bit of variation into the build. So I then brought the steel blocks in and raised a tin section in the centre. And that's right, I am remembering now what block it is after God knows how many episodes where I have not been able to remember and everyone's been saying in the comments, this is what block it is. And I'm thinking, right, I'll remember for next time then immediately forget. But no, not anymore. I've started to remember it again. So I put in the usual skylight and ring of lamps that we usually have on the top of this and then run around on the underneath with some red power, red alloy wire to hook it all up. So then it's time to come and copy the style of the bottom. Now I can see me there having a quick check of what I did on the other two buildings of this style. And what I'd done there, as opposed to having a plain bottom, was to mirror the pattern from the roof onto the floor. So that's exactly what I did. And it's a lot easier to do when you've built it once. You can just look up above you and see what the outlines are. So you can see me speeding through laying out all the blocks here. It really does help when you know what you're doing, you're not just trying to invent something off the top of your head. Much, much easier. So then I come around with our copper outline, again just to add that bit of variation, and then copy down the tin section that we had from above. So again, it's just a complete repeat of the top, just to give it that little bit of difference so that the bottom half of the space station is not just completely steel and copper. You want to have a bit of interest and stuff going on down there as well. So as you can see I come down add in the reverse skylight and the lamps and after hooking these up with some red alloy wire that is the structure pretty much done. So I now have to do the task of joining it to the outer disc. So I take a quick look around at how we did it in all the others and decide I'm going to go for something similar to what we did on the nuclear power station because since then we developed a couple of different ways to attach these outer discs and we never actually repeated that style and I felt it made sense to have at least one repeat so that it's not just an outlier or something unusual it's actually a style that is repeated and used throughout the build so I thought that made sense so I'm coming around here and the style we had over there if you can't remember was that the windows along the side curved up almost onto the roof. And I was actually quite a fan of that when I did it the first time. So I was quite happy to repeat it as you can see me doing that right here. And then once we had that all set up, it was time to actually put down the machines that makes this building not just an empty warehouse, but the engineering department, because that's what its purpose was. So I go through and get a bunch of industrial craft machines and then I have to think about how I'm going to hook these up. Now it would actually be quite a difficult task to go and actually put uranium into the nuclear reactor, wire it all the way over here, although that is obviously what this would be if it was a real space station. I decided against it as it made too many um, extra work and difficulties, it would just be a hassle to do. So I decided to connect them up, even though this would not actually work or be powered, in a way that looked aesthetically pleasing, because this is not a functional base that we're actually going to play a game on. This is a let's build, and we're trying to build something that looks good here. So I thought that that made more sense. So after putting down the machines, I built a pipe system that would hook them up across the side and then into some iron chests. And then I put down a bunch of different crafting project tables in the centre to finish off the decoration for this building. You'll see me just placing those down now. I play around a bit with how I want all the walkways to look, but really there's not much more to change. I add in some lamps on the top because I was feeling it was getting a little bit dark up here. 
and actually once I've done this off camera I go down and repeat the process at the bottom section because I felt the same problem was happening down there. But guys that is it for this episode and we have finally finished all of our six outer discs and I am so pleased with how it has turned out. I think the space station is looking really really good. So I have some plans, there's probably two, maybe three more episodes left in this series where I want to build some spires up to above the current height that we're at where there will be a docking station up there. But after that I think we're done guys. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section what you think the name of the station should be because we haven't quite done that yet. And as always, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.